AA asks, do I need to get this award-winning calibration disc? You know it, dude. This is like... Yeah. Yo, you do. You do. Um, hey, actually, you know, we always try to plug our, our disc because if anything, we can plug the stuff that we make because we are proud of it and I think it really is something good. But, um, you know, in our honest opinion, like, is it too expensive? 99 bucks because it is the most, you know, it's pretty expensive. For a disc, you know, you look at other discs like ninety nine bucks. So, t go ahead. T you know, tell us, tell us what you think. If it's not worth it, then just say hey, it's not worth it, and I'll, and we can still be friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know why? Because we'll Ooh, still no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. No, no, seriously, I, I'm. I would rather hear somebody say this is why it's not so. You know, maybe it is expensive. Just like honesty is always uh, respectable. Um, I mean, anything that is a hundred bucks is going to make people, you know, take a back seat possibly. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it's, it's got a lot of stuff in it though. And, uh, Reverend Slim brings up this point, which a lot of people don't actually know. Uh, remember that you're not just paying for the SACT disc. You are also getting the helpful community on the SACT discord and tons of our expertise. So, Oh, good. Yeah, true. Dude, there is a lot, like I jump in there now and again. Um, uh, but man, there's people in there every day talking about their system. There's also people in there every day saying, uh, I can't believe I've learned so much in the discord and their system sounds so much better because at the end of the day, you could go out and spend 5,000, 3,000, 15,000 on a new processor. But if you're not dialing it in correctly, and you don't know how to do it and you don't have a tool that will give you that same, you know, predictable, you know, test tones or whatever, going to the correct speaker, you wouldn't, what, what you're wasting your money, you know, and uh, in comparison, a hundred dollars compared to a few thousand is just uh Hey, quick question. Yep. Yeah. It's $99. Yeah. Yeah. I just spent 150. Oh, you got the digital and you got, the, you got the bundle. Well, oh, well, I guess I got both. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> I didn't even know what I got. I just thought it was 150. I was like, oh, oh that's yeah, kind of high, but okay. That's, <laughs> that's kind of, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, man. Chris Wyndham keeps getting ads. It's funny. Thank oh. you for the support, by the way. I appreciate you. Yes. Who, me? Yes, you. I'm yeah. supporting my friends, man. Yes, I, I appreciate that. Y'all got Thank a cool you. product. I'm getting it legit. And that way, when I use it, people can't say, you're just doing it because your friends gave it to you. Like, no, nah, dude, I got receipts. I actually bought this stupid thing. So, yeah, I, I see those YouTube videos. I bought this myself with my own yeah. money. They show you the receipt. It's like, dude, I don't care. Uh, me, yeah. you know, tell me if I can play, you know, whatever I need to play on it. That's awesome. Usually that follows up. Like, uh, I just got the DJI thing. You know, they sent it out to everybody, a bunch of people. I and want then one. Oh, oh this is good. you're going to like it, bro. I Freaking looked at it. I, I was like this close from putting myself on the wait list on Amazon. It was 500 bucks. I was like, oh, I can't spend that Yo, much money right now. Go hold yours up because I just got this gimbal. Oh, there's going to be a joke. Oh, okay. there's, there's a joke coming here. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah, dude, look, that's it. <laughs> look, oh, dude, it's oh, great. What Sean is using? That's ridiculous. Yeah, but uh, my, my point being that uh, there's always like there's some YouTubers like, yeah, I bought this with my own money. And that's usually the one that's the most like, oh, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Why? Because they spent their own money. Like, I do love this thing because I spent my money on it. Yeah. It's yeah. you have to think people, not you guys, you guys already know. But for anybody new to this, think about it. If I spend 700 something bucks on this with tax and everything. I probably did some research and I probably like the stuff. So if I make a video on it, I'm probably going to say good things because I bought maybe, it. Maybe. It's maybe, maybe, it to me. maybe I'll be like, uh, uh, it's, cool. it's all right. I mean, it's good. That's a, it's that's cool. a I'd say that's right over there. Whatever. That certainty that you're going to like it, you know, uh, pretty much, pretty much. It's kind of like you, you've already narrowed it down. Like you wanted to spend your money on it, you know? Right. Like this microphone's 400 bucks. Right. And like four or five years ago, I was just like, I bought it and I was like, damn, that hurt, but it's good. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> and, then, and then what, then what I, if I got it for free, I'd be like, actually, it's just, it's, it's it does its job. I probably could have gotten <laughs> Mike for 200 bucks. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, uh, real quick, back, back to the discord oh. thing that it really is a cool spot. Like, 
there's these dudes talking about all kinds of stuff. Um, Tom, Tom Servo, dude, always dropping mad knowledge in there. Sometimes I'm in there, I'm like, man, I'm learning something. This is a cool place. And I, the thing I like is that it's very specific. So somebody can go in there and say something about their system specifically. And all these people who have a ton of info and experience and knowledge will be able to attack it from different angles, right? Some guy is going to come in with like, here's the data. Here's all the, you know, here. Uh, and then somebody okay. will say, hey, from my experience, this is what, what you can try. So you have all these people helping you out. Is that worth the 99 bucks? I don't know. We're, we're spending lots of time in there. Yeah. So it's not just the disc. I think it's all the additional stuff um, that goes along with it. I think we're adding a ton of value. Anyway. There's several people on the Discord whose systems were not even running Atmos because of simple settings that we were able to help them fix. <laughs> there you go. There you yeah. go. You know? Uh, still trying to learn. Okay. Yep. Don't just head to the torture test and hit play. Well, you can. You can and be like, wow, this kind of sounds messed up. And then you do everything you need to do and you run through the disc and the guide. To sh and then you do the torture test again. You're like, oh, sounds a lot better. You could. Or not. Whatever. I, I just uh, I, I like that torture test section because I, I made that up like while I was laying in bed one day. I'm like, I wonder if I could just. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can do that. Oh, that. And then that made my system like. I'm like, oh, I need a speaker there. I need to add some middle heights. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I need more speakers. Gabe says, I'm still trying to learn how to use REW with the U-Mic 1 and what I can't do or don't know how to do with REW. I use Joe and Chana's uh, SACT disc, and the results are awesome. That's great to hear. Great to hear, yeah. REW, yeah, it's it's a tricky software. You know, there's definitely a learning yeah. curve. Yeah. Uh, uh, Aaron, you know what? They, one thing that I don't know if it will be useful to you, but we've made it so that the test tones uh, can you can record the test tones, okay, right, and actually import that into REW as an impulse response later. So if you can't, like for example, with REW, you can play impulse responses, right? So you're generating it from REW. Mm -hmm. But with HDMI, you only have access to seven channels. Okay. Right? Eight okay. channels, seven, you know, 7.1, whatever. But if you wanted to test a height channel, something like that, mm -hmm. you can't use REW as a generator because yeah. it needs to be decoded first. Gotcha. Yeah. But yeah. we can, you can play a test tone, use a calibrated mic to record it, and then import that into REW later on, and it'll show you the impulse response with the calibration applied to it like so you say this is the mic i used uh-huh so i don't know maybe it'd be useful to you i'll keep that in mind just saying there's there's very few people who use that functionality but i did i wrote it in the, uh the full guide how to do it you know um but yeah you can do that you can play um pink noise record it and then import that into rew later on yeah that's why i got it was for the pink noise yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i just it's need pink very, noise just pink noise. Yeah. Well, it's 16K. Good, good pink, pink, pink periodic. Best pink oh, noise. That's, that's the best you can do on the market. We got, we got good pink noise. Do you have white noise? No. That's like racist. Brown noise. Over uh, no. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> we don't have brown noise. <laughs> Where's my da -dunch? Oh, man. Uh, John, John was on that one, man. He was on that one. Uh, what else? Uh, the calibration disc is a Blu ray or 4K Blu ray. We made it 1080p so a standard Blu ray player can play it because we know. Folks like uh, Reverend Slim don't have a 4K Blu-ray player. And I found that out because I was putting out all my Atmos mixes in 4K. And then he's like, hey, do you have a 1080p version? I was like, oh, we should make our disc 1080p. So it's 1080p. Go to spatialcd.com. Get the disc. Make sure to check out our audio-only version of the podcast at anchor.fm forward slash daily hi-fi. Or just go to your favorite podcasting service and search for daily hi-fi.